There has been a lot of hype coming out of Chargers training camp and preseason. They have a talented young quarterback and a pair of young superstars on the defensive side of the football. The Chargers have all of the potential in the world. They just need somebody to unlock it, and the fan base and members of the media believe they've found their guy. With some in the media toting him as the best hire of the 2021 coaching cycle, and some even going as far as claiming that he'll be the dark horse candidate to win coach of the year in his first season in Los Angeles. They are talking about first time head coach, Brandon Staley. But if you're like me, you have one big question. Who in the world is Brandon Staley? And where did he come from? If I were to have made this video five years ago, I would be talking about a Division III college defensive coordinator. But instead, I'm talking about one of 32 people in the whole United States who get the privilege of calling themselves a head coach in the National Football League. How did Brandon Staley get here seemingly overnight? Where did he come from? Why is he the right choice for the Chargers? And why is he generating so much hype? I hope to get to the bottom of some of those questions in this video. And to begin, we have to go all the way back to 2006. Okay, so 2006 isn't that long ago. It's just 15 years. 15 years especially isn't that long ago, given the context that that's when Staley began his coaching career. He was a graduate assistant at Northern Illinois for three seasons before becoming a defensive line and special teams coach at the Division III school, St. Thomas. He did that for one season before taking a gig as associate head coach and defensive coordinator at Hutchinson Community College in Kansas for two seasons. He became a graduate assistant again in 2012 at the University of Tennessee. Then, jumping back to Division III college football as a defensive coordinator and secondaries coach at John Carroll University for one season before giving up that and going to Division I football at James Madison University in 2014 as a defensive coordinator and linebackers coach. And that stop, like many before that, only lasted one year before he returned again to John Carroll University to resume his role as defensive coordinator and secondary coach. And from there, he was ready to make the leap to the NFL. NFL. The Chicago Bears saw a rising star, and in 2017, they offered him a position as their outside linebackers coach to fit in under defensive coordinator Vic Fangio and head coach John Fox. He stayed in that position for two seasons with the Bears before following Fangio to the Denver Broncos in 2019. In 2020, he was offered a promotion to be a defensive coordinator for the Los Angeles Rams under Sean McVay. In his one season as a leader of the Rams defense, he took them from 13th in total defense all the way to number one in both yards allowed and points allowed. With that on his resume, he became a hot candidate for head coach and the Chargers snatched him up in 2021 to take over their young and talented roster. So now that we know where he came from, we can look at why he was the Chargers choice. Clearly the Chargers had a vision when they hired the 38 year old Staley who had only been in the NFL for a total of four years. And that vision was for someone to maximize their defense in a division run by an offensive powerhouse in the Kansas City Chiefs. In fact, Staley was the first defensively minded head coach of the Chargers in over a decade. So who helped contribute and mold Staley's defensive mind in the four years he was an NFL assistant? Well, those two coaches would be Vic Fangio and John Fox. But I want to focus on Vic Fangio specifically. Fangio was a defensive coordinator for John Fox in Chicago when Staley was hired there to be their defensive assistant. And while Fox is an accomplished defensive minded coach himself, I believe it was Fangio who had the greatest influence to Staley. And that sentiment comes from Staley himself. Staley said in an interview that he had studied Fangio since he first became a coordinator way back when at Hutchinson Junior College, saying, quote, I felt like I'd been coaching with Vic since 2010, end quote. So what's with Staley's obsession? Well, Fangio is a defensive mastermind who has been in the NFL for 35 years, nearly as long as Staley's been alive. 
Fangio's defensive scheme relies on relatively little blitzing and a heavy dose of zone defense, with an emphasis on smart and versatile players to understand the play calls pre-snap and how those play calls change in the post-snap. Traditionally, with two high safeties to create an illusion of a light box up front, but in reality, the defense could quickly shift into a 5-1 look that could stifle the run game. It requires defensive linemen to take on blocks and play heavy to stop the run, while the defensive backs could be in zone and work to create turnovers in the passing game. And when the moment was right, of course Fangio could dial up a deadly blitz. The complexity of the scheme makes it kind of hard to boil down, and I've probably way oversimplified it, but hopefully I did it some justice. Now, if we take a look at the big picture, I may have gone a little overboard. I've traced the coaching tree of both Fangio and Fox back to their very early NFL beginnings. Along the way, we pass by many NFL greats, and we have branches from both Fox and Fangio joining together and building off of each other in several areas. And what does it all mean? Well, kind of nothing but I like to think that it does act as a symbol of that being the formidable football schemes of coaches like George Hallis, Tom Landry, Paul Brown, Don Shula, Chuck Knoll, and others all build off of one another. It's like a grand game of telephone. Each coach both adds and subtracts from the schemes and ideas that came before them. But overall, if we zoom out from those little additions and subtractions, we see that this is all building upwards. Each year, the NFL gets more and more complex and new ideas are introduced and new and better ideas must be developed to stop those ideas. And that leads us to Brandon Staley. Generations of ideas organically growing all the way down, flowing through to John Fox and Vic Fangio and then directly on to Staley. The question is, what does Staley do to put his twist on this defensive scheme? How does that mesh with the Chargers? Only time will tell. So hopefully, that rounds up everything there is to know about Brandon Staley. We now know his personal coaching background from several stops in college to learning under Fox and Fangio to then showcasing his own talents by taking the Rams from a middle of the road defense to the number one defense in just one year. We then looked at exactly what influences and takeaways we could learn from a far reaching historic NFL coaching tree in the way those building blocks built on each other generation after generation of coach all the way down to Vic Fangio in his impressive scheme. So we know the who, the where, and the why of why fans and media are a buzz for Brandon Staley. So what are your thoughts? Do you think Brandon Staley is the right coach for the Chargers? Do you think he can translate the defensive success of his coaching predecessors and apply them to a winning football program? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, as always, without a doubt, I appreciate you all for taking the time out of your day to watch my channel. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and please subscribe to join our growing community. And with that, I'll see you all in the next one.